Hey, Blessed Ambassadors. Welcome to today's edition of What's On My Mind. Hey, I don't have a joke for you today. You're welcome. But I do have a great message. I do have something that I'm encouraged, that has encouraged me, and I know and pray it's going to encourage you. Have you ever heard of dissectology? Dissectology. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Dissectology is not the cutting up of frogs or pigs like you had to do in biology class way back when. Dissectology is the hobby of assembling puzzles. And you know that in our midst at GRC, we have an expert dissectologist in Philippa Boggs. I would say Howard and Philippa Boggs, but I've been there when they're assembling the puzzles and I know Philippa's the one that's doing all the hard work. To his credit, to his credit, Howard is right there wiping her brow, making sure she has plenty of water and uh, staying out of her way. So that's how, way to go, Howard. Okay, how, uh, yeah, Philippa Box really is an amazing dissectologist. And I say that, I have seen the puzzles that she assembles and Howard does help a little bit. I'm just teasing there, but Howard does help a little bit by staying out of the way. Okay, stop, no. Uh, Philippa really assembles these amazingly intricate, detailed puzzles, not the eight-piece puzzle, eight puzzles like this guy, but like the thousand-piece puzzles. And, and the pictures are just amazing, amazing. And, I've seen, and they're really works of art for themselves, but also in assembling those, that puzzle is amazing. But that's Philippa Boggs. She's great at it, and I've seen that. However... I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen what she can do. But even as great as she is, as good as she is as, as, at assembling puzzles, she could not take a piece from another puzzle and make it fit in the puzzle she's working on, right? She just can't because that's just not the way the puzzles are made. And I bring that up, Ambassador, because this is something the Lord has been encouraging me with. That say, uh, you know, one time in your life, you thought you were on this one path and you... It was a path for sure that the Lord had for you and you were going down this path. Uh, the path was being blessed and you were prospering and everything was going along your way. And suddenly, maybe something changed, right? Maybe you were attacked by a lying symptom or, or suddenly uh, the marriage ended or, or there was failure or, or just something happened and no longer was that path clear. And maybe... Maybe that path, that door was closed for you. That's what happened to me, right? So then you started on another path and, and uh, suddenly this path is clear again and then maybe it happened again, right? And, may, and there was another path and another path and another path and you thought for sure this is what the Lord has for me and maybe it was, right? But then uh, just we know, right, that as we're on a path, as we're honoring the Lord and going down this path, the enemy is always trying to attack us. And sometimes maybe he succeeds and, and we get distracted or we get deceived or something. And what we thought was a sure thing suddenly becomes a question, you know, questions in our lives. Here's my encouragement to you, because this is what the Lord showed me that maybe I was on path A for a while and then that got messed up and then path B for, and that got messed up. But the Lord does not waste any of our pain. He does not waste anything that's happened on our previous path, right? So going back to the puzzles, that Philippa, as great as she is at puzzle assembly, cannot take pieces from another puzzle and make it fit in the puzzle she's working on. However, beloved ambassadors, our Lord God can, right? That's why nothing is ever wasted because he will take the pieces of the puzzle that you thought you were on and make them fit in your current life, right? And what's the scripture for that? God works all things for our good. And the so here's two encouragements. One, that nothing is wasted, ambassadors. Whatever you went through, right? The victories, the defeats, or just the, the normal everyday stuff, God will use that for your good, right? So just trust that, that God is working behind the scenes on your behalf whether you need healing, restoration, provision, uh, whatever it is, God is working on your behalf for that. So knowing that, here's a second encouragement, ambassadors. 
we don't have to live with any regret because maybe, maybe there's things that, yeah, we would have done differently. If I could go back in time, I would do it differently. Or maybe you're saying the same thing. I would do it differently. We would do it differently. True. But because God will take every piece of the puzzle we thought we were working on that became incomplete on the current puzzle, right? The current puzzle, just to use the, the nomenclature that we're talking about, that he will take those pieces and he will make them fit yeah, where we are right now. He will make them beautiful, not just fit together, but he will make them beautiful in its time. So don't live with regret. Don't keep looking back because whatever, whatever it is that was back behind your past, just know that the Lord is using it for your good right now. And I declare over you, beloved ambassadors, that every single thing will work together for his greater glory and your greatest good. So be encouraged by that, that regardless of what happened in your past, the Lord will take those puzzle pieces and in your current path, make it work for your good. I've said that a few times because I think that's what the Lord emphasized in my life to encourage me. And I want to encourage you in that way. Don't look back, keep looking forward because in the name of Jesus, your best days are ahead of you. 2024 of December is gonna be amazing. 2025 is going to be spectacular. And I declare that we will see miracles. We will see supernatural things happen to us because he is good to you and to me. All right, guys, I love you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Peace out.